Murray State Athletics is excited to begin our reveal of the facilities master plan. It's time for all Murray State Athletics facilities to make a leap forward to remain competitive among our peers in the Ohio Valley Conference. Now let's take a look at the bold plans for the home of Murray State football, Roy Stewart Stadium. Roy Stewart Stadium honors the former racer coach who was one of the founding fathers of the Ohio Valley Conference in 1948. When the stadium opened in 1973, the Racers defeated Western Carolina in the first game, 27 to 25. Now pushing 50 years old, Roy Stewart Stadium is still a great place for football. In 2019, the Racers hosted Moorhead State on Family Weekend, and they drew a crowd just shy of 12,000, the largest at the stadium in 21 seasons. In its entirety, 2019 drew more than 43,000 fans to Roy Stewart Stadium, the most since 1998. And yes, Racer One still runs the track at this majestic stadium after each Racer touchdown, the place that is near and dear to Racer Nation. There are two pathways to a better Stewart Stadium. The first pathway is the highest priority, the construction of an athletic performance center, and there are three potential building sites. One is next to the CFSB Center south side, Another is on the east side between the arena and Johnny Reagan Field, and the third location is on the east side of Stewart Stadium, opposite side of the stands. The second pathway is to renovate Stewart Stadium. The basic structure remains, but the stadium gets a new look and the weight room gets expanded. In both pathways, Roy Stewart Stadium will get a new club space that will be built into the middle of the stadium. Now this is going to be a great area to watch the game and it could also host special events like meetings and recruiting visits. The club space would also have 500 covered box seats. One of the racers that is very interested in the future of Murray State football is Quincy Williams, who was a star linebacker for the racers from 2014 to 18. Named All-OVC, Williams became the racers all-time top NFL draft pick in 2019 when he was selected by the Jacksonville Jaguars in the third round. Still close with the Murray State football program, Williams is excited about the future of Stewart Stadium and what it would mean to the program. If I was getting recruited all over again, I would just be at WOW. Um, just seeing all the things that's going on, there's been playing, there's big plans going on, so I will just be at WOW, that's the main thing. And we are making our move here with Murray State Athletics and what we could do in the future with our various athletics facilities. And we're very excited to talk about football today as what could happen with an indoor practice facility and what could happen with Roy Stewart Stadium, which is the racer been playing there since 1973. So as we go along here on GoRacers.com, uh, you're going to see all of the various plans we have to make our move in Murray State Athletics. So right now with us, we've got head coach Dean Hood, who is getting ready to uh, coach his first season with the Murray State Racers. And uh, also Malik Honeycutt, a senior wide receiver from Tallahassee, Florida, and senior defensive lineman Chris Stahl from St. Louis, Missouri. So I appreciate you guys coming in and, and talking about this a little bit. Uh, coach Hood, we're gonna start with you. When, you. when you think about Murray State football in the future, to have a place where you could always go indoors no matter what the weather's like, that's got to make you very excited. Oh, it, it's, it's unbelievable now. You, you miss so many practices, you know, with, with lightning. That's, that's the enemy, you know, is, is lightning. Uh, and, and now with the new, you know, with the rules, with, you know, the athletic trainers checking it on the radar and all that kind of stuff, if, if it's in so close, you know, you have to, have to go inside. And really we have nowhere to go. And, and a lot of times you'll, uh, you know, I've been places where we didn't have an indoor facility and you have to, you have to cancel practice. So you have a team that you're playing and they're practicing and you're like, man, sorry, you know, we got the lightning strike and, you know, we got to, we got to get out of here and can't practice. So it's a huge advantage to have an indoor facility. It, it certainly would be. So, so Malik, you know, as a wide receiver, I see the receivers, you know, catching hundreds of passes every day. It's like a basketball player shooting free throws. You, you just got to, you have to train, you have to refine your skills. What would it mean for a Murray State football student athlete to have a place where you could practice inside? Oh, uh, well, adding like an inside facility, it's like adding more opportunities for us to get better. Cause you know, with 
like he said, the the lightning warnings, the rain, you know, it gets pretty bad up here sometimes. And it's like, without that facility, it's like those days uh, are just taken away from us. So adding that inside facility is adding opportunities for us to get better each day. And, and Chris, when you uh, kind of project into the future, obviously you're senior, uh, you, you won't be here when all these improvements are made, but it, it's got to make you excited about future Murray State student athlete football players to get these improvements. Yeah, I think a big part of what we've modeled as uh, a team is taking the excuses out, uh, leaving no doubt, leaving no excuses. So, you know, even though we do have lightning delays, um, you know, we try and do something. It'd be great to be able to get the full practice, get the full amount of reps, um, not cutting it short, you know, because it comes during practice and just being able to have a lot of confidence going into the game that, you know, we've exhausted our resources. Now, now one of the things that uh, every sport at Murray State has to, to keep in mind is when a, when a student athlete comes to Murray State uh, as a freshman, um, every coach wants that student athlete to max out their potential. And, and Dean, you guys work on that every day. Uh, football's not just the 11 games or 12 games you get to play in the fall. It's, it's a 12-month it's a out-of-the-year thing. And your facilities, it's, it really is your second home. Yeah, no question. You're, you're there more than you are at home a lot of times. Oh, no question. And, and you know, it's, as you hit on all those points, you know, that's, that's our concern. We want to we want to help raise up, you know, the whole person. You know, we, we recruit character academics in football, and we want to train character academics in football. You know, we want to we want to bring young men into the program and then help them, you know, leave a, a better football player, a better a better student, and a better person. Uh, you know, and so you, you need the venues to be able to train. You know, and and any any like Chris was saying, you know, if you miss an opportunity, you know, what you give, you'll always have. What you keep or hold back is lost forever. And, you know, if you have an opportunity that's taken away from you for some reason, you can't get that day back. You know, there's no way to get that day back. So having the facilities where you know that you can go train every single day uh, in, 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 you know, in view of football, being the best football player you can be, it's huge. And, and Malik, that's the thing that we're kind of talking about here because for as much structure as each Murray State team has as far as organized workouts, there's a lot of stuff you guys do on your own. Yes, sir. Uh, because we know, like, it's not about what you just do with the team. But if you want to be great, if you want to be on the All-American list or anything, hold records, you have to do a lot of stuff outside of just team uh, practices. So we go to the field a lot by ourselves, throw balls with the quarterbacks, you know, do one-on-ones with the DBs. But adding that facility, we might can go like on days, it is raining without the coaches, without the team and do some one-on-ones and get better inside that facility. You know, Chris, uh, you're gonna be a football racer for the rest of your life. Cause we always say once a racer, uh, always a racer. Uh, I'm, I'm, that, I'm that way too. Um, can you look into the future when all these things are, have happened and how it's gonna affect the program? I mean, I'm really excited to see uh, how this plans out. Uh, I like to see you know, the student athletes being given every opportunity they can. You know, I'm returning for my fifth year because I want to win a championship. You know, I was injured my last uh, or last season. And so I'd like to go out better than, you know, playing two games kind of hurt. You know, I'd like to win a championship. That's why I'm here. That's why, uh, so that's why I stuck with the program. And just given another opportunity, I'd love to see the players in the future, uh, future racers to get a chance to have that resource take away that doubt, you know, and be in a position to win a championship. And then, Dean, as we, as we kind of wrap it up here, uh, recruiting is like breathing for, for any head coach. You recruit every day. How much would these facility improvements uh, help Murray State football attract the, the brightest and the best you can get? Oh, it's huge. You know, first speaking to, you know, what Chris was talking about, about having – you know, having pride and, and wanting to see, you know, good things for the future. You know, I think there's an old proverb or saying, blessed is he who plants trees under whose shade they'll never sit. You know, we have Chris, Malik, a lot of alumni out there, I think, that have that mindset that, hey, I, I want to help and make it better, you know, than what it was when I was there and, and, give, and give them every opportunity they can to, you know, to be the best they can possibly be in, in all three areas, you know, character, academics, and football. 
Uh, but as far as recruiting, you know, it, it's an arms race out there. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to stand for things bigger than a building, you know, with what we're doing here. Uh, but it's an arms race. And, and it, it's also a, just a good feeling and a sense of pride, you know, to know it's, it's humbling and it's exciting to know that, you know, people care enough uh, to, to invest, you know, in, in the future of our student athletes with, with a new facility. Uh, and it's just good. It doesn't matter what work environment. You walk into a work environment. It doesn't matter who you work for or what you know, what your line of work is. When you walk into work and it looks nice and it's new and it's kept up nice and you got the latest of everything, man, it just, you just feel good, you know, about it. And I think you're, you're more motivated to, uh, you know, honor what you have by doing a good job. Yep. Well, I appreciate uh, Coach Hood, Malik Honeycutt, Chris Stahl for, for coming in. And uh, that is where Murray State football is going as Murray State Athletics makes its move into the future.